Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about what consumables, what potions, what you all need to play in the mode 3v3 arenas. So there's a way to actually make sure that you have the upper hand, or at least you're even playing ground with everyone else, and that's by consumables and health potions and mana potions, focus potions, all of these different consumables that you need to make sure you have on you, depending on your build. So the first thing is going to be very obvious. It's going to be a hearty meal. This is going to be a basic recovery food that you are going to want to pop if you are playing in arenas. Next up, we have a health potion. The top tier, tier five health potion is going to be needed as you're going to need this as, you know, you're going to take damage. You're going to take a lot of damage in these arenas sometimes, and the potion's going to be an obvious use. We have next regeneration potions. Very, very good. And of course, if you have the earring as well, that does the purifying toast. So basically, when you drink a regeneration potion, you lose one debuff. Another very, very important reason we take the regeneration potion. So next up, you can actually slot anything in your six slot when it comes to oak flesh bombs or star, or sorry, gemstone dust. I was going to say star stone dust, but uh, it's actually called gemstone dust or oak flesh bomb. You're going to want either one slotted in your six slot. I typically take oak flesh just because I am dying to physical damage much more than I am dying to elemental. So I do have both though, just in case I run up into a three stack of elemental users. I want to make sure I have that in case. But Oak Flesh is going to make sure we take 35% less damage from physical for 20 seconds or until receiving damage 15 times. And then we have the Gemstone Dust doing basically the same thing, but for Elemental. So that's going to be nice, like I said, to switch these in and out depending on who we're playing against. Now we go over to the Honing Stone. Honing Stone's an obvious, a lot of people already know this, but Tier 5 Honing Stone is going to give you 7% more damage for 40 minutes. It's going to be nice to have in these arenas. Do you remember, guys, you may be thinking, wow, this is going to cost a lot of money to use all of these different buffs, potions, every single arena. That's what's nice about arenas over OPR, in my opinion, is that none of this stuff is actually used. You can actually just pop these on, and you have unlimited amounts or limited uses in the 3v3 arena. It looks like we're going to get a chance to show you here in just a second. Before we accept this, though, I do want to jump over to the Focus Potion, which we pop every single round if you're a mana user, because... It's going to give you insane amounts of mana regeneration rate by an exceptional amount for 60 seconds. So we'll never run out of mana that round if we pop this right before. Next up, we have the Powerful Incense, which I have really no reason as to why we pop this. I don't know what afflictions really are, to be honest. Haven't looked into it. I just know that people other, or, or, you know, other people pop it, so I pop it as well. Kind of a follower on this one. But uh, the other ones that you definitely want is Mana Pots. If you really, really need them, shouldn't need them in arenas, though, if you have Focus Potions going. And, of course, Energizing Hardy Meals as well, which is going to increase your mana regeneration rate. Looks like we actually took too long in that arena, so we'll queue up another one. That was my bad for anyone that I just kind of queue abandoned. But uh, next up, we have Attribute Food. This is going to be a very, very important part. I have Constitution Food. Um, but you can have any other kind of foods you really need. So I have Dexterity Strength in here as well. But you are going to want a food that bumps you up a specific amount. So we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Uh, we have Desert Sunrise. So I have that 40 con food. But now we have Desert Sunrise, which is actually a very interesting food that you can now buy on the market. It's going to be, or you can make it, of course. But it's going to reduce the duration of dots. So damage over time by 10% for 25 minutes. It's going to be a very, very small amount, but it is something you want to take because there is a lot of dots in the arena, and it's something a lot of you guys probably have not been using. So, one thing I wanted to mention is with the attribute feud, obviously you're going to want certain attributes up higher. So here you can see I'm running a 300 intelligence, 200 constitution build, and I really, really want to get to 200 con, so I have the extra 10% increase to physical and elemental armor. So that is why I popped the 40 additional constitution food so that is exactly all you really really need to know um, at this point we're probably going to cut the video and show you the first round of arena when i get into an arena so you can see what i all use what i all pop before we get into the arena and then how we actually play about it also if you didn't know if you have tab open or if you hit tab on your screen when you're on New World, obviously, uh, you'll be able to click any of these buffs and just left-click Use. You don't have to keep doing this. I used to do this all the time. You put these in so that you feel like you can use them on your bar, and then you tab in and tab out. No, 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 no. That would take forever. You just left-click Use. It's going to be the fastest way, the best way. So make sure to take advantage of all these buffs, consumables, potions, and jump in the arena. And let's uh, take a look at what we have.
Okay, so now that we hopped in our first arena, let's see who we're playing against first. This is something I always like to do. I hit escape, and I see who we're playing against. Looks like Sniffy Joe, which is kind of funny because he's a guy I run with a lot. Uh, Black Fury C uh, and Loki. I don't know how to say Black Fury C. Black Fury C. And then let's see our side. Alezade and Word. I don't know really many of these players. I think Word does have a pretty good build, a spear, sword, and shield, which is really annoying to play against. But let's pop those buffs. Let's show you how these work. So the first ones you're always going to want to do. Honing Stone, of course. You're going to get that powerful incense popped. You're going to pop your uh, focus potion last because you're going to want to make sure that lasts through the entire round. This is only 60 seconds. Let's pop the energizing hearty meal. Let's pop the desert sunrise. Let's go over and pop our constitution food. And now we have a perfect setup, right? We have our oak flesh bombs ready to go. We have our uh, regeneration potions ready to go. Our health potions ready to go. I think we popped everything we need to. And you can pop stuff twice. That's a nice thing. If you are kind of worried that you didn't pop something just pop it it doesn't matter because you have unlimited uses you can see the unlimited sign or the uh you know infinite sign in the bottom right hand corner of all of these buffs and potions so we should be good to go now i think i already popped the focus potion but again i'm going to repop it so that we have it for a majority of this round so i'll have about 50 seconds of use during the round and we should be good to go so let's take a look at the first round and we'll end the video there but by the way if you haven't already make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on and follow me on twitch we stream every monday thursday and saturday at 6 p.m eastern so i'd love to see you guys there for some mange gameplay and some pvp as well as pve so thanks again for tuning in and uh let's play it out So there's a good spike. We actually hit two of them, I think, with that. We're going to entomb the crosscut, because if you don't entomb the crosscut, you're going to take a lot of damage, if you didn't know. Um, we're going to actually just burn out through him. We'll be behind him. We can auto-attack him for the kill. We're going to use some regens, uh, some potions, I mean. I think I used a health and a regen there, which is fine. We actually never used our oak flesh. I would assume he's coming for me, so I'm going to use the oak flesh here. Okay, so there's our first round, and uh, I guess maybe we'll just play out this whole arena in case you want to hear the comms of the entire arena uh but we are in round two and i think sniffy was afk for the first start of that so it should be much closer to these last couple of rounds and there's no guarantee that we're going to win because they do have a pretty decent comp uh but let's take a look at what we're running against so loki was actually running blunderbuss it looks like black forus is running sword and shield and maybe spear but loki's taking a lot of damage if i'm able to hit the spike i miss the spike we were able to dodge his burst with the blunderbuss, though. And at this point, we can just flamethrower him until he's dead. Um, oh, wow. So they actually took somebody out pretty quick there in the middle. He's going to be coming for me. We're going to use our oak flesh here. And we're also going to pop the entomb. So when we come out of this oak flesh, we're going to have a health potion up. Which should keep us alive. This guy's in heavy, by the way, Black Furies, so we should be focusing Sniffy for sure, as he's also in Onslaught, and if he's in Onslaught, he's taking 15% more damage. So that's a big part of Arena as well, to know your opponents, uh, and you can actually learn by playing you know, Arena a lot. You'll play some of the same people on and off again. Um, definitely when they come out with the cross server, it's going to be a lot more people to memorize and know, but here we're just going to Flamethrower because you know this guy's in heavy. It's going to take a lot of damage to take him out. There we go. So round two, we're 2-0. and oh. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. So scoreboard-wise, it looks like Sniffy's the only one doing damage on their team so far. Uh, Loki's just dying way too quick to do damage, and Black Fury is in heavy, so you're not going to do damage. Our team um, looks like everyone's doing fairly well, pretty even across the board. So it's definitely something you like to see on our team. Um, we should be able to get our first uh, arena win of the day. Let's pop our bomb early this time. I think people might focus us if we go in like we are about to. So Sniffy's going to be dead instantly here. And we got a nice little spike, nice little kill there. And this guy at this point is got nothing he can do. We're going to heart rune just for the hell of it because it is the last round. But that is going to be a quick GG, a nice 3-0. And that is the video of today. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you all in the next one.